Hello everybody. In this clip I want to quickly show you how we can find the number of moles, how we can calculate this number when we have got a solution with a given concentration. So let's say we have a solution with a concentration of 0.3 molar and we've got 0.1 liter of this uh, solution and we want to find out how many moles how many moles do we have in this volume of 0.1 liter so we can start with uh, this method that I call the first principles method and the rule of three, which is a pretty logical method. And we can say, okay, we've got a 0.3 molar solution. What does that actually mean? It means that one liter of our solution contains 0.3 moles. That's the definition of this capital M, mole per liter. So one liter contains 0.3 moles, but we don't have one liter. We have only 0.1 liter, so 0.1 liter, therefore, contains X mole. And this is what we want to find out. So uh, we can set up this... Uh, set of uh, ratios, we can say 1 liter divided by 0 0.1 liter is the same as 0 0.3 mole divided by x mole. And we can do a little bit of uh, rearranging. We bring the x to that side, we bring all the other things to the other side, and we would get x mole equals 0 0.3 mole times 0 0.1 liter divided by 1 liter. The liters cancel out and we therefore would get 0 0.3 mole times 0 0.1 and that gives us 0 0.03 mole. So we would get 0 0.03 mole if we had 0 0.1 liter of this concentration. It is a logical method, but it's a little bit, you know, long-winded. So we can perhaps use a different method. At school uh, and in textbooks, you very often see what the equation method is, and uh, this uses just simply an equation. Uh, and you can write it as n equals c times v. So n here is the number of moles, c is the concentration, concentration, and the v stands for the volume. Uh, so we had a concentration of 0 0.3 molar and the volume was 0 0.1 liter. We need to be a little bit careful with this molar here because this means mole per liter. We need to be careful that we have the same units here in the volume and here in the concentration. But otherwise we just simply can plug in the numbers and we get n that's the number of moles, equals 0 0.3 mole per liter times 0 0.1 liter. Again, the liters cancel out if we've got this in the same unit, and we get 0 0.03 mole as our answer. Of course, you would need to know and remember this equation here. Um, and uh, that is something I'm not a huge fan of, remembering things. Why should you remember things if you can easily derive it? The third method, that is the triangle method. And that is very often taught at school. So you've got a triangle here uh, where you can put in the different units for the entities that you are dealing with. So here in the top one you would put in 
the number of moles. Here you would put in the concentration, so that would be mole per liter, and here you would put in the volume, that's the liter, and now you are basically taking out what you're looking for, so you remove that and you write mole equals, and you've got your equation then, you've got mole per liter times liter, and uh, that you can easily put in the numbers, so mole equals, this was 0 0.3 mole per liter times the volume that we had was 0 0.1 liter. Again, we have to make sure that we have got the same uh, units here for liter and liter. We can't use milliliter and liter at the same time. We would have to convert that, but in this case we've got the same units, so we can cancel out the liter and it gives us 0.03 mole. The disadvantage of this method, again, is that you would need to remember in which sector you have to put which unit. So the fourth method, that is my preferred one, because I, can't, I don't need to remember anything, and that works pretty much like the triangular method that uh, we discussed uh, just a minute ago, uh, but we don't need to remember where we need to put things. Uh, because we are just simply guided by the units of what we have given. So we've got 0 0.3 molar, which we can also write as 0 0.3 mole per liter. And uh, what we are looking for has the unit mole. That's the what we are looking for, so mole. And do we have mole anywhere in our given? Yes, we've got the mole here. Uh, and they are already in the right place, they are on top of this fraction, so all we need to do is we write 0 0.3 mole per liter, so the mole is in the right place, i.e. above the fraction line, so that's good, uh, we've got the right unit, but we've got these pesky liters down here, so we need to multiply this, uh, this expression here with something so that our unit of liter uh, cancels out. Do we have liter anywhere? Yes, we've got liters here, so we just multiply it by 0 0.1 liter, and what we see is that the liters uh, cancel out, and all we have left is the unit mole. And that is what we wanted. So we can stop now. So our equation now reads the number of moles equals 0 0.3 mole times 0 0.1 divided by 1. That was the liter that we have here. And that gives us 0 0.03 mole. And the advantage of this method is I don't really have to remember any equations. I don't have to remember where uh, the, the units go in the triangle, or I don't have to do any fractions or something like that. I'm just guided by the units uh, that uh, basically tell me what equation I need to use.